time, Penny. I will never forget my food for the poor virtual mission trip. I was shocked at the devastation from the hurricanes and how much the people there had to endure. What do you do when everything's gone? The way you made a living, where you went to school, the places you're used to seeing. We're so honored to be partnering with Food for the Poor. They are making such a difference for the people in Guatemala and beyond. They're already devastated by coronavirus and the resulting economic crisis. And then Central America had to confront another catastrophe. The mass destruction from two ferocious hurricanes that just plummeted the fragile country. Not just once, but twice. Hi, it's Park Stamper. Last year, I was so blessed to join Food for the Poor in a mission trip to Guatemala. Hi and welcome to Guatemala. We're on a mission trip here with Food for the Poor. You're going to see some scenes that may be kind of difficult to look at, but you're also going to see some scenes of hope. So join us and pray about how you can help. To see their faces when they saw us because they knew we were bringing hope, hope from you. Would you partner with us again to bring a better life to even more families through Food for the Poor? And I thank you in advance. Hi, it's Beth Bacall. I went to Haiti with Food for the Poor. My daughter Hannah went on this trip also, and it was beyond life-changing for both of us. We met and saw a lot of different kinds of kids in Haiti. Hi, it's Beth Bacall. And I'm her daughter, Hannah. And we are in Haiti with Food for the Poor. We're here to see exactly what the need is for our friends in Haiti. And there's a huge need. There's a huge need for food and for water and for medical care. And we're on a mission with a lot of other friends. And we look forward to sharing the journey of these very special people and the way you can help. Fish listeners help this happen in Guatemala. Clean water for 8,000 families in Guatemala. And it all started about two years ago when we were here with Food for the Poor and we met the powerful women you see right behind me. They had a vision to take a well that was already in place and just pipe that water into their community. They were walking for miles and hours just to provide clean water for their families, for their children. And all it took was a little bit of money from fish listeners to buy the piping. And do you know that these women and the men in their lives dug the trenches and built those pipes themselves? They want to have a better life. We just need to give them a little bit of help. Hey, it's Kevin and Taylor. We are in Guatemala with Food for the Poor. And did you know that Guatemala has one of the highest rates of malnutrition in the Western Hemisphere? We have the opportunity right now to meet one of the families we're going to help. Come on inside. One of the things that we love the most about working with Food for the Poor is being able to meet the families who you're going to be helping through our campaigns. And we are so blessed to meet Augustinia. She's the grandmother of the family, and Leticia, and little two-year-old Lissady. And in this home that we're in right now, 10 family members live here. And uh, Augustina's husband does masonry work but he hurt his back and he hasn't been able to make any money for the family. So they've come up with a very creative way to try to make money. They make firecrackers. Everybody uses firecrackers for celebrations here in Guatemala. Trucks come and drop off the materials to make them every week and they, they only make about $5 a week doing that. The thing that strikes me in walking into their home is just the love of a mom and a grandmom, just like we have love for our own children, the, that urge to provide for your family, the, to do the best with what you have, is just on display here. Uh, the kitchen is the middle of the house. It's the heart of the home, just like in our homes. And, and there's already something on the, the pot, whatever they could scrape together to make for a meal for the family. And I just love that we're so similar in that way. The, the urge to provide, the urge to take care of our families, and they just need a little help in doing that. Right, and we were able to ask Leticia through the help of a translator, because we don't speak Spanish, what her dreams are for her little Lissady and her other three children. And just like moms in the U.S., her dream is that they would go to school, have a better life, and be happy. So we're at a nutritional center that Food for the Poor works with here in Guatemala. They feed up to like 150 kids every day at this center. This is really the one good meal that these children are gonna to get today. And uh, Food for the Poor works with the San Geronimo Center and they do such a great job getting the mothers involved. These are all moms who help make the food, gather firewood, make the tortillas. 
so that they can have dignity and feel like they're part of the community. And your support will help keep a place like this going, so please get behind the work of Food for the Poor. So you can call the number right now on your screen or, or go to the website, and, and we would love to have you support Food for the Poor and all the work they're doing here in Guatemala. One of the things that we love about Food for the Poor is they always do their giving through the local church with a pastor that knows everyone in the community. So when people are given the help, they hear about the love of Christ at the same time. Wouldn't you love to step into the lives of people in the third world that Food for the Poor ministers to every day? Join us for our Day of Hope with Food for the Poor on Tuesday, March 16th. You can change somebody's life with your generosity.